Uh, so we're cleaning barn here and we got most of the way done and we I see one of the chains here must have got a little bit loose so we're gonna take a hopefully we can get a link out of it or a half link or something there's if you tighten one you loosen the other so we got to take a half link out of one of them at least try to get them tightened up but we uh, got eight inches of snow yesterday so we're just uh, got everything dug out and we're working on taking care of cattle again. Seems like an all-day job, but we're getting through it. Got a pile of round bales here. We feed our heifers, and we're gonna get this barn cleaned, and then go scrape out the freestyle barn. So. so it's the big chain on the big sprocket here, and you can see it balled up underneath. So that's the issue. We're gonna we got the chute full of manure still, so. We're going to shovel some of that out so I don't have a place to stand here so we don't get too full of manure. So it's balled up underneath so we got to reverse everything here. There's a little lock that makes everything what stays, for, stay, stays going the right direction. Then we can unball it under there as we, as we uh, run it backwards. Make sure you don't have any kids running around. Turn the barn cleaner on when you're out here working. So we can see there's actually a half link in here. So we're going to take that half link out, this one right here, and that should probably be about the right amount to make it so it's running good and not super tight, but tight enough that it won't come off again. So we're going to take that. You got to take the whole link out, whole connector link out, and then you got to take the half link out and put the connector link back together without the half link in. So we got the half link out right here and it just has a pin that goes through it with a cotter key in it and then we got the connector link taken out too so got everything tore apart. It took maybe 10 minutes or so and now we're gonna hopefully put it back together and it'll it'll uh, reach without being too short. It's kind of the thing with this setup. If you, it's got an adjuster right here but if you move this shaft this way it loosens this chain up tightens this one right here so you can only kind of go in the middle so much so this one's fairly tight so maybe we'll have to loosen it up a little bit and tighten this one up we'll see how how things so go it wasn't as easy as i hoped there's not enough slack in this chain to get a link out of it half link even so we're gonna have to loose we're gonna have to tight move this main sprocket here with this adjuster and maybe loosen this one up a little bit and tighten this one. This one was the one coming off before but now it's pretty tight so maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll loosen this one up a little bit and make it so we can get this one tight enough where it won't come off. I guess it's just gonna have to be a balancing act. It's probably time for new chains on here if they're stretched this much otherwise we're gonna start wearing out sprockets and that gets expensive so so I ended up taking this little chain off and it was pretty stretched out. So luckily it's a number 40 chain. We keep number 40, 50, and 60 chain on hand. So we cut a piece and I'm gonna put her back together. So I think that'll be able to work because it was pretty stretched out. Oh, got her working again. Chain seems to be working fine. Nothing's jumping off, so back to work.